Salvador Dali. Wild man, madman, genius, modern day Renaissance painter, clown, devoted husband. According to Dali himself, he was all of these. Dali caused chaos wherever he went. See, he was invited to be in the elite group of surrealists in Paris in 1929. The group included André Breton, Pablo Picasso, and Max Ernst, famous artists who were also avid Marxists and admirers of Lenin especially, kicked out of the group by these same eminent artists. Why? What did Dali do to earn this derision and exclusion? One of the most provocative and unusual paintings to have come from Salvador Dali's easel is this, the enigma of William Tell. The painting that caused such a furor was a distorted and satirical image of William Tell with a lamb chop on the head of his child and a long uh, sausage-like protuberance coming from Tell himself. Okay, so far for a surrealist, but what caused the ire of the other painters was that Dali had put the face of Lenin, their hero, on that of William Tell. <laughs> Hence, Salvador Dali was booted out of the elite group of surrealists. Today, the enigma of William Tell is the most famous painting in the modern museum of Stockholm, Sweden. You never would have thought it, would you? Who would know Salvador Dali was a fine, fine jewelry maker? To most jewelers, uh, the jewel is the centerpiece. The jewel to be shown in all its sparkling or dark beauty. But Salvador Dali? Oh, no. True to the megalomania of Dali, he said, My jewels are a protest against emphasis upon the cost of the materials of jewelry. My art is to show the jewelers' art and craftsmanship are to be values above the material worth of the gems. Despite his antics and bizarre behavior, Dali and his lifelong companion Gala were together for 54 years. Gala, 10 years older than Dali, always called him my little boy while she controlled the purse strings and tirelessly marketed his work. Dali continued his antics, joyfully reigning over his own special chaos. I don't do drugs. I am drugs. <laughs> Salvador Dali.